Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Warhammer Age of Sigma Stormground. This should be pretty cool. I actually like Age of Sigma. I'm a, I'm a Warhammer fan of, of old. You know, I played bloody second and third edition when you had five different war gear and rule books and all that sort of stuff. On and off over the years, I wouldn't say I'm hardcore, less these days for sure, but um, they had a sort of an event where they revamped the, the fantasy setting, the sort of old world setting of Warhammer, and people are probably more familiar with 40k, that's that's probably a bit more popular in, in mainstream, um, and they revamped it into what's called Age of Sigma a few years back. I played a little bit of the starter set. It was it was kind of cool. It's more skirmishy, more beer and pizza, a little uh, less hardcore than the previous version. But I think it's actually since gone on to have more additions released where they've ramped the rules up. So they sort of did a bit of a, a, a bit of a bloody scorched earth reset of the setting and uh, and then went on to um, ramp it up bit by bit. And uh, from what I understand, it's a perfectly respectable skirmish based Warhammer game, which is cool. Um, and so this looks like from what I've seen in trailers and that, that they're actually really giving it a concerted effort to try and get that vibe onto a video game setting. For all the Warhammer games that we've ever had, none of them have really done a good job of actually bringing the Warhammer gameplay onto a video game setting. They've always been thematic or something like that. There's been some great games like Total War, um, but, like, that's not how Warhammer actually plays. Anyway, it's, that's probably one of the closest ones, at least to the fantasy setting, for sure, with the regimented movement. Anyway, let's give it a go. Let's see what's going on. These are the new bloody good guys, the, the Sigmarines, we'd call them, I guess. Um, they're basically space marines, but in a fantasy setting. What's going on, game? Are we going or are we going? All right, so what's going on here? We've got Stormcast Eternal Bloody Sigmarines. Night Oh, I can't I can't be the Night Haunt. They look very edgy, don't they? And then bloody Maggot Kin of Nurgle. Ugh. I don't mind Nurgle, they're so gross, eh? Alright, uh, yeah, well, I guess I have the to play as cast eternal Jesus, you bloody yell at me. Heroes yes. That have been remade into godlike warriors in the forges of Azir. Yeah, okay. Each the embodiment of Sigmar's storm. They are the God King's wrath, made manifest, and they were created for one single purpose. Outright war. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. You shall die in the battles ahead, and that is not just certain, it is expected. Take courage, dying is not to fail, but to be reforged to fight again and again, only the war is eternal. So these are basically just space marines with all the emperor, like, the dude doing that voice line, you meet these dudes at actual tournaments, there are real people like this. <laughs> but, but I digress, anyway. Oh my goodness. So these are the, the overpowered bloody meme team, just like Space Marines. Super jacked, super strong, nothing wrong with them. They're perfect in every way. So, you know, like if you don't like nuance in your character development, these are your sort of guys. Um, here we go. Stormcast Eternal Campaign, Warrior Ascension. Limited starting warband. Revives cost one miracle per squad. Single Realm Conquest. I don't know what any of this means, but let's go. Let's rock and roll. Shaish, realm of death, a place of finality and endless decline. Yeah, okay. There resides Thanator's Mats, a stronghold long thought to be unassailable. It teems with frenzied night haunt spirits, cursed to linger there by Nagash himself. Yeah, right. It is here the tide turns for the God King's faithful. Subtitles are a bit behind. The stars themselves have been read, and they have revealed to Sigma a champion. Yeah, right, eh? Freya Skyhelm. The old bloody half-price haircut. Celestant, loyal, and lion-hearted. Like the manse itself, Freya bears deep scars of night haunt malice, but she will stand tall. And thunder on you! They are a calm down, mate. Whether Jesus Christ. With vengeance or valiance in her heart, only Sigma knows. All right, cool. All 
Oh, hexes. I love hexes. Chain rasp hordes. No Foul ghouls, tormentors of my dreams. I will have vengeance. Look, and look, as much as like this sort of chewing up the scenery voice acting can be a bit eye rolly. I on an, on another level, I kind of like it. I kind of do appreciate when everyone everyone's going camp and they're all going in ah, bloody oh, I'm going to kill you, you know, yelling and screaming voice acting. I can get around that to be to be perfectly honest. It's definitely not self-serious. It's like a meme um for sure. Um, I mean, unless you take it seriously and think it's actually cool, which is, but hey, each to their own. Anyway, okay, so, cursor camera. Moving the, oh, okay, I can't do it yet. Press to select Freya, then press on a valid hex to move her. Okay, well, that sounds about reasonable. Where do I, I've, I've clicked Freya. Let's go bash, hang on. I don't like that they've got arrows at me. Let's go bash these ones. Go. I said move, Freya. Right. Oh, I have to left click? Ugh, yuck. Okay. Okay. That's weird. End turn. When all your moves are completed, you can hit end turn. Let's, let's hit end turn. Right. So I can't move and attack. So what's going on? Damage slash armor. When a unit takes damage to the amount inflicted is reduced by the value of the defender's armor stat, which I'm guessing is the yellow. Freya has an armor stat of two, right? It's just hard mitigation. Cool. If a unit's armor stat is greater or equal to the damage, an armor save may trigger, resulting in no damage taken. Oh, so you get hard mitigation and an armor save? Jeez, that's a bit bloody excessive. Okay, sure. Maybe that's how, like I said, I haven't played this game in forever. Like the tabletop. The, the higher the amount is versus, uh, sorry, the higher the armor is versus the damage, the greater the likelihood the armor save will occur. Higher the armor versus the damage. Yeah, okay. When a unit moves to a hex that is occupied by an enemy unit, that move becomes a charge. Yeah, how come I didn't attack? To initiate a charge, select Freya and press on the valid enemy target. Units take retaliatory damage from the defender when they charge. However, if the defender dies from the initial charge damage, no retaliatory damage will be taken. Right, okay, so the charger always hits first in initiative order. Okay. Well, let, let's kill him. Get bashed, mate. Can I zoom in? Right, okay, so she follows up. Mm, okay. Haunt my nights no more. <laughs> okay, mate. Jeez Louise. Can I bash these dudes now or end turn? Okay. Look at that. Yeah, get bashed back. It's all very pretty, all the animations and that. That's cool. Alright. Bash him, Freya. Say something interesting. Yeah, here we go. This is waking. Last I recall, I was cast from High Azir to the realm of Shaish, and then I lost myself. The trauma of my reforging lingers still. Yeah, all right, mate. Bet you're great at parties. Now, what's going on here? Oh, I have to end turn. Night haunt. Oh look, they get more dudes. It's cheating. Those pyres draw the wayward dead to defend the manse. Right, sure. Oh look at this! I got boys with castigators reporting. Castigators. Any glory for the rest of the Brotherhood, Lord Celestant? Yeah, right. No sisters. There's no glory. To sisters. Be oh, we all Sheilas. We're a Sheila team. It's like uh, the Battle Sisters. Nice. If we destroy them, victory is ours. Castigators are ranged units that attack their targets from distance. Yuck, I hate ranged units. They cannot charge and do not take retaliatory damage when attacking. Yeah, no, yeah, fair enough. With your castigator selected, press on the valid target, initiate. Okay, this is all pretty straightforward. Zap him. Let's go. 
Nice. Nice girls. All right, now what's going on here? What do these buttons do? Challenge? Am I allowed to use these or not? Well, the game hasn't told me to, so I'm... I'm just going to send bloody Shazza up the guts and, and see how this all eventuates. Aether and abilities. Aether is a resource used to cast uh, active abilities. One of Freya's active abilities is challenge. Challenge is a useful ability for drawing enemies away from weaker units like the castigators. Oh, it's like a taunt. If used on these chain rasp hordes, they will be forced to move from their position to charge Freya taking retaliatory damage for their trouble. Yeah, exactly. To experiment with challenge, select Freya, select the challenge and ability, and select the target within range. Right. Curse your, Curse your heads? Is that what you just said? They're blasphemous heads? Right, now, these guys don't receive retaliatory damage at all. Is that the rule? Let's test this. So even if they're adjacent... Right, okay, there we go. And I can charge straight in. Get zapped. Nice. So far, so, so I like this so far, you know? Destroy the skull pyres. So I gotta destroy them. Once the skull pyre is lit, an enemy wave will spawn. Right. All right. Look at that. Mate, some big brain stuff going on there. Ever onward. Ever onward. Onward and upward. Be good if these dudes stop spawning. That'd be nice. Alright, so... Oh. No. Can I then charge them now if I reselect her I can okay yep yeah, interesting stuff happening here now can I go back and get her attack I can this is cool all right it's letting me like act out of turn however I'm not allowed to okay so casting a spell seems to Casting a spell seems to take your action. I didn't, I didn't, that I didn't realize. Now, does that reduce my damage output? Hmm. A man wonders. No, well, two damage doesn't seem to. Um. What if I go there and then challenge? So I don't have to move. So I can stay closer to that. Hmm. Dude, how many of these things are you going to spawn in? It's kind of unfair, don't we think? You can't fire and move? Okay. Alright, bash it. Good, good bash, good bash. That's not enough to kill it. But that is. What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, whoops. Oh, whatever. That'll do. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I like this. In turn. This is actually really, uh, like, I know it's only early days, but I like the idea that we're going to have more and more complex units with their little abilities. I kind of like the, the 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 pretty straightforward way it works. Can I have like a second attack? I cannot. And it seems that once I attack, I can't move either. They look given up, grubs. We've 
Oh, there's a, oh, I was just thinking the audio mixing is all over the place. This Sheila is screaming, but then when she's moving around, she's barely like she's a whisper. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm starting to really dig this chick and her castigators. Just bloody screaming about everything. It's pretty cool. The Skyhelm Saga. One. Collect. Okay, thank you. Freya. Lord Cel Celestant. Celestant. Oh, here we go. The West Battlements. A procession of ghasts is entrenched in the West Battlements. Put them to rest. Tank class common. What is this? Rewards? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Improving your warband. Here we go. The meta progression. I, I'm worried. I wonder about this. Every warband must have one hero. Your hero occupies the top slot of your warband. Select this slot to add a new unit to your warband. I think I've only got castigators, right? Add the castigators. Here we go. Nice. War spoils from your victories on the field can be seen here. Yeah, okay. Lore. Add units, war gear, skills, divine axe, and lore to your horde. Lore journals provide background information on characters and other details. Okay. For a moment there, I, th I thought they were going to like... You can... What can I do? Inspect. Right click. Oh, okay. You know... What's play do? Braving the blight. Nope. That's enough of that. Okay, that's cool. You know what? That's there for the people that are really into it. To be honest, I wouldn't mind listening to it in that, but uh, who has the time? Let's continue looking at this game. But yeah, that's that's cool. I like that. The audio log thing. Strengthen your warband, take to the battlements to showcase your new strength. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Let's do that. Cast me to the field. <laughs> I will be your light in the darkness. Your lightning <laughs> bolt of retribution. <laughs> I'd love to see this chick at speed dating. Like, okay, so uh, my name's Bob and um, I'm from accounting. What about you? I smite my enemies with the power of my gun. Yeah, yeah, okay. Would you like white wine or red? Um, every battle begins by summoning your hero from your warband to the battlefield. Select uh, Freya, Skyhelm, bloody blah, blah, blah. And stick her in a hex. Select Freya, stick her in a hex. <laughs> she doesn't have an indoor voice, that's for sure. But, uh, powers of resource used to summon additional units from your warband. Oh, cool beans. You'll earn an increased amount of power per turn. Oh, so I can meat grind a wave, like, like wave defense, this sort of thing. Unspent power is converted to aether at the end of your turn. Spend your, your three power to summon a squad of castigators from your warband. Select the castigators from the warband and then select the valid hex. Okay. Oh, the one's gone. So maybe I can only have one at a time. Take the high ground. Take the high ground. The slope may slow us. But once it is ours, we can strike down the enemy from greater ranges. Exactly. Exactly. You'd think they might know that. Being that they're trained marks, marks women, I suppose. Oh, look, I got more mana. Okay, that's cool. But I can't buy any more castigators. All right, let's get, get up there. We have better firing range at this vantage. Well said. Very ob observant. Correct. Um, can I climb over? Can I just... Yeah, 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 yeah. A war chest and law cash. Bless this battlefield. Bless this battlefield. Yeah. In your name, Lord Sigma. Yes, do it. Do it for big sigs. Get away from my chest. All right. What's going on here? Great bow shot. Indirect damage. Okay. Zappity zap. Don't you touch my chest. That's mine. Oi, hang on. What's going on here? Item collected? Oh, These it's a mystery. War spoils will aid our cause. Yeah, I certainly hope so. Correct, Freya. War chests and rewards. Each war gear, skill, or even new unit to equip your warband by collecting war chests and winning battles. Warbands can only be changed between battles. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
After the battle is won, be sure to review. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's go. Can I? Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. Challenge. What's this do? Hammer slam. Knock back target one hex. Bloody, let's go. Get out of here, you goobers. They're good, good, good slap. All right, give her, give him a zap. Well, that probably means some some blokes rocking up. I want to get to that, whatever that is. Law cash. I got to get my audio log. Let's go. Um. Uh oh. Yeah, do it. You wouldn't. As the God King wills. Yes. Very well said. Good. Yep. We do not control our own will. Oh. We oh. Are we do. <laughs> These dudes as well. This voice acting's off the chain. Ever onward. Oh, look at this. I got two things. A cache All right. of law to be studied after the battle is won. <laughs> I will read my books when I am done killing! Uh, you have collected a lore cache transcribed within is a piece of uh, the ancient histories of Shaiish, um, the realm of death. Shaiish. Shaiish, the style. It looks like stylish. There are many more pieces of lore to collect scattered across the realm. You can study whatever. Okay, I understand. It shall be so. Let's bash them. I Oh, it damaged the boys behind him. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I believe in magic. High ground advantage. It's not enough to kill him. The Sky Helms advance. I will meet this test. I cannot falter now. Nice. Though I probably could have shot them. I'm gonna run away. Oh, they can't run and shoot. They saw me coming. It's all getting very energetic, isn't it? I mean, I'm a bit. Can only kill one of them, right? Oh, there we go. We, we okay? Yep, yep, yep. I didn't mean that, but I'll take it. Look how many of these things I've got. Oh, you know what? That'll be to summon, like, big bloody dragons or steam tanks or some nonsense. I really like this. Um, oh, I have to choose one, or do I get them both? Bloodstained bolts and liberators. And, uh, a warhammer as well. Oh, and, and a nice little book to read after, you know, we kill the enemy. Okay, cool. And my dudes are leveling up. That's nice. Here we go. We're just rolling along through the through the missions. All right. So let's add these liberators. Oh, look at this. He gets the same haircut as all these guys. The college campus half price haircuts. Good for them. Oh, I, I didn't click on my spoils. Oops. I got a special warhammer or something. All right, I, sp I, uh, I, I deploy my chick. Oh, I can't afford the boys. The winds of magic are drawn to this ruin. 
This was once a holy place. Yeah, right. Once, once, long have my kindred and I desecrated it. There's nothing for you here, Stormcast. Nothing but death itself. What an enthusiastic person. You're wrong, Dark One. The ether is plentiful here. Yeah. With it, the light of Sigma will be rekindled in this dark place. Yes. Do you tell him, Freya? Stitch him right up. Now, do I save my dollar to buy these blokes? Or do I buy these shielders? I'll, I'll save me dollar to buy the new, the new blokes. All right. Yeah, get amongst it. Let them know you're coming. Look at these dudes. Mermorn Banshees. Are you spectres blind to the wellspring of ether here? Yeah, Perhaps come on. I will awaken your senses to it by capturing it and wielding it against you. Oh, uh, yeah, big talk. Good. She show them, Freya. Let's go. Now what? Oh. Well springs. There are many special kinds of terrain that have special properties when units occupy them. One such kind of hex is uh, a wellspring. It's an aether wellspring. Maneuver one of your units into the wellspring in order it to gain, in order to gain bonus aether, the beginning of your next turn. But that sounds pretty cool. But also, I don't care. I want the box. Well, hang on. If I walk past the box. Dude, they're just gonna bash me. Let's not let's not do that. Oh, I got a, a thing. Summon the boys. Oh, I can summon the boys next to next to her. Dude, that seems broken, to be perfectly honest. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it though. Nice lads. Wow, they're pretty much the same as Mum over here. Wait, why she got a shield thing next to her name? Guard. What's guard do? Oh, look, hang on. It regenerates all my mana? Really? Oh, shit. What's this? Permanent cannot be dispelled. Are you guys doing that? Shield wall. Applies one armor to adjacent allies with shields. Okay, that's pretty cool, Beans. Tank class. What else can you do? Protect. Attack. Apply two armor for the turn. All right, they can give it to a friendly. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's summon these blokes. Now, do they get summoning sickness or something? Is that how it works? Seems about right. Okay. And they've got the hammer slam. Wait, hang on. What happened there? Can you let me... Here we go. On death, explode, dealing two damage. And knock back. Right. I, am prepared to do I see. I might kill my own dudes here. Well, hang on. What if I just bash this guy back? Oh, doesn't the hammer do damage? Uh oh. My bad. Maybe it only does damage if you belt it in, belt a dude into another dude. That's I think that's what happened. Um. Oh, look at that. The explosion radius thing. Liberators, ready to do our duty. Yeah, stuff it. Let's go. Bloody chain reaction going on. Right, so it knocks him back into them as well. Oh, this is really interesting. I kind of love this. Yeah, you can see the arrows that they're going to... Oh, I like how much they get knocked around. I wield the wellspring's power now, Spectre. 
Your defeat is ensured. Big talk. Gain bonus ether at the start of your turn. The many different kinds of special terrain hexes. Right. It's not just the wellspring one. Can I bash him? No, that'll push him onto high ground. We don't really want that. Let's just hold it, hold it down. See you, boys. You did your best. I'm out of boys. There's lore up there, but I don't care. Alright, at least they're not the self-detonating dudes. They're, I don't like them. Can I ring out these dudes? What happens if I knock them back against the edge of the map? Actually nothing? Right, so maybe they have to literally hit another unit to take that damage. Not, not even like terrain. Oh, look at this. They get, they get like adjacency bonuses. Status effects. Okay. Oh, and they've got am armor as well. Oh my goodness gracious. I love this. This is really fun. They're not bloody kill Shaz. So I'll be a bit upset. Yes, Sigma, power me up. Back the girls. No injury will impede me. The rejects you. This place, it, it belongs to Nagash, to the dead, not the living. Listen to him go. The righteous will always prevail. I have taught you that lesson. And I will teach it to each of your spectral kin in turn. Yeah, tell him, Freya. All right, this is sick. This, like I said, chewing up the scenery, right? This voice acting, it's a video game, all right? It's not some bloody Academy Award winning Oscar bait nonsense. But, uh, you know what? You want to be bloody Warhammer Sigmarines yelling and screaming about how you're going to crush everyone's head with the light of Sigma? Yes, yes, I'm on board. This is very cool. But the gameplay wise, like it is definitely um, now when I say simple, I don't mean that in a like it's not going to be complex with all the different abilities and all the different characters and the interplay of summoning your dudes in. Clearly, this is going to get quite complicated, but that's exactly how a game should be, or at least a game in this area, right? The mechanics are accessible to anyone, easy to understand. It's not even necessarily the mechanics that need mastering but it will be the interplay of all the different characters and their abilities and their, you know, skill shots and buffs and that sort of stuff. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. Congratulations. The Night Haunt campaign and Maggot Kin of Nurgle campaign have been unlocked. To play them, begin a new campaign from the main menu. Doing so will end the current Stormcast campaign. Right. I got a big great bow. That's cool. And they're leveling up. Right, and because they're dead, maybe they didn't level up as much? Like, why would you rub it in my face that they're dead, game? Alright, so if I go back... All progress will be saved. That sounds good to me. And if I were to go to... This will override your existing campaign. Well, don't give me that warning there. I just wanted to check it out and have a bit of a squeeze, but... Okay, that's fine. We won't restart that just yet. I'm quite happy playing these angry women with hammers. They're my kind of chicks, to be honest. Alright, team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.